Welcome back. It's winter go home from here on out in high school football. First round of the playoffs in the books, and now the local team still alive. We'll start matching up with teams from other markets. You can find the details at the bottom of our screen as we scroll through this weekend's action. Lake Travis, of course, chasing history with their drive for an unprecedented fifth straight title opening at home to McCallum in a rematch of last year's close game, but the Cavaliers look possessed right now. Sean Nixon, a pair of scores. Colin Legasse with four touchdowns, and Lake Travis is off and running in their quest with a 58-7 win. They get a tough Smithson Valley team in the area around next 7 o'clock on Friday at the Alamo Dome. Also in the big school 4A bracket, Cedar Park and LBJ meeting at Nelson Field in another rematch. They were tied at half. They pull away 55-26 and will play nearby in the next round because they have the winner between San Antonio Brennan and Hayes. And Hayes, with a late comeback, was able to knock off the Bears 34-24, their first playoff win since 2006. And the Rebels will meet Cedar Park in the middle, 7.30 Friday night at the Burger Center. Hendrickson, also a winner in big school 4A, Dripping Springs and Vandergrift advance in the small school 4A bracket. Now to 5A and the bi-district matchups of 15 and 16 5A. Bowie and Westwood first met the second week of the season. Warriors won then and they win again. 52 to 20 headline matchup for Westwood in the second round against the Woodlands out of North Houston. Both teams 10 and 1 on the year. They'll play 2 o'clock Saturday at Waco ISD Stadium. Also in big school 5A, Round Rock Dragons on their home field against a storied Westlake program. Shaps trying to improve on last year's early exit. They hold the Dragons to six points and get some separation the second half. 42 to six, the final there. It'll be Westlake and Klein Oak on enemy turf, four o'clock Saturday at Klein Memorial Stadium. Small school 5A, Del Valley started the year 0 and 8. Snuck into the playoffs, winning their final two games, trying to make it three straight at home to Pflugerville Friday night. They did strike first, but the Panthers able to stop the bleeding and fight back 28 to 7. Pflugerville is moving on. They meet Spring DeCaney in Waller at 2 o'clock on Saturday. Meantime, district champion Leander facing an emotional Austin Hyde team that made the playoffs on basically the last play of the season, hoping to ride that wave to another win, but the Lions hold off the charge. 35-14, Leander advances to play Spring Westfield 1 o'clock Saturday in Brenham. Unbeaten Wimberley, a favorite to win the small school 3A division, narrowly escaped the first round against 3-7 and seven, Taylor, winning 38-31 in overtime. Back to that Austin High team and their final drive of the regular season. Caleb Jones providing the winning touchdown that put them in the playoffs, and he's not done yet. The future Longhorn receiver has been selected to play in the Under Armour High School All-American game and was officially presented with his jersey at school on Wednesday, which he will wear with a deeper meaning. That your hard work is paying off and people notice it. And uh, when you're balling on the field, it's, it's not going unnoticed. So uh, just everything you worked for is, is finally paying off. That game will be on Thursday, January 5th at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Now to volleyball, and the Lake Travis team is out to defend their title at the state tournament starting Thursday in San Marcos. Incredibly, eight of their nine seniors have offers to play in college. Amy Neal coming to Texas, Sierra Patrick going to A&M, Baylor, TCU. University of Washington also represented all of them celebrating together with a joint signing party at school on Wednesday, committing to the next chapter of their volleyball careers. And now they can concentrate on that state championship. They are 48 and 0 this season. In fact, they have yet to lose a set. Richmond Foster is their semifinal opponent. 